நீயில்லாத நாளல்ல நாளாகுமா நீயில்லாத வாழ்வல்ல வாழ்வாகுமா Matthew chapter 26 verses 14 to 15 Then one of the 12 the one called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and asked what are you willing to give me if i deliver him over to you so they counted out for him 30 pieces of silver the man who made a deal with the high priest to betray jesus was judas iscariot if we think about his sins we can point to many things firstly his love for material things he betrayed jesus christ the redeemer for just 30 silver coins he was with jesus for 3 years he heard his sermons heard and saw the miracles but still betrayed for just 30 silver coins in those days 30 silver coins were not much it was uh, just a slave's rate you know if you read exodus chapter 21 verse 32 we can find some evidence for it now this raises a big question how can someone betray jesus christ the savior for just 30 silver coins if judas was really after money why did he throw it in the synagogue and uh, kill himself why didn't he use it for his living So if Judas was money minded why did he join with Jesus as his disciple the disciples were not wealthy they were poor and simple people so if Judas were really a money minded person he wouldn't have joined with the disciples the money mindedness is not the primary issue there was some other sin operating from behind all the disciples were galileans and those days they were very simple people but Judas was from juda he may have had this in mind you know he was an educated knowledgeable shrewd person and the other disciples were not so learned but judas thought jesus lifted all the other disciples except him he thought jesus did not give him the honor due to him this jealousy could have progressed to agitation and sought vengeance for that dear people of god judas built a castle in the air he fantasized many things But when those things did not happen out of spite he was ready to betray Jesus. Dear children of God listening to this the nature of Judas is very dangerous. You must not live in a world of fantasy. Don't think that you can be like someone or earn like someone or do many things. No. Don't live in a world of fantasy because if it does not happen you will also become like Judas Iscariot. You must be very careful and cautious about this no matter how far away you are from Jesus always be mindful of the truth that Jesus still loves you repent quickly and move your life towards the cross of Calvary Jesus is calling you hallelujah hallelujah god bless you